Emma, the two wins uh, and a pole position. See if he can uh, make it three from three. The flags are in. We're all formed up. The lights are starting to come on. And uh, ready for a start. Lights are out and everyone got away yeah, pretty cleanly there. We've got two different starts and four involved here. And it's be uh, a brilliant start from the Kramer. So uh, Jacob Stroud will lead them down into turn one. And uh, that's the advantage there. The Kramer in there with uh, Chris Huddleston. Looks like he got a great start. Scotty Finlay also. Scotty Finlay's up into second place. Well, I think, I think, our oh, fifth place was Scotty Finlay. So that might be Kieran O'Neill there. And uh, Richard Mark and Barrett going off of the grass on the other Kramer there, possibly. Oh, Number yeah. 19. Unfortunate stuff from there. So we catch the update out of the uh, left-hander and down the centre straight. It is uh, Jacob Stroud on the Kramer. Then uh, we go... Uh, Flying back there, I think that might be Kieran O'Neill up there in second place with uh, the wobbly 400 of uh, Dennis Charlotte. I think that bike's back. sick. I've just seen him lose about four places down that centre straight there. So I think that bike is a little bit ill. We watch the speed of it coming out. He's in two, four, six, seven, eight position. It's so, oh, no, no, there's something going yeah, on something here. Not right there. That's a bit disappointing. There we go. The uh, Biggles racing. I think it might be Campbell Grayling there on the uh, number five machine. He leads the. Uh, the 250 Mono 125 GP class there, so uh, we'll have a look at that as they come down uh, the front straight. Jacob Stroud leads the race, he's on the uh, Kramer, and then we go to uh, Chris Huddleston there in second place, so a great start from him. And uh, the Wobblies uh, definitely into the pit, so uh, drama here for uh, the championship. And Dennis Charlotte's uh, Wobbly 400 comes into pit lane, so uh, unlucky for him, but uh, Jacob Stroud now out there in front, Chris Huddleston, Kieran O'Neill and Scotty Finlay, that's the battle for second, third and fourth on the track, we've got a Johnny Lewis ahead of, uh, oh what a move by uh, Scotty Finlay, come out of turn three, right over to the white line and held it and uh, got back and in, got into third place, so sorry about that Brad Ritchie, but that was a magnificent move 125 GP class mono class, Yanni Shaw leads by 90 points, now there's 101 points available uh, in this race, the next three next weekend, and the one qualifying. So I'm sure with 90 points here, if he takes a win in this race, he will get the New Zealand Championship for the 125 mono. But I've been saying that all weekend. Haven't been good at the mass, so we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll review that at the end of the day. Remember that all results are provisional for half an hour for 30 minutes after the race. That gives time for any protest to come in. But Jacob Straub, what a class act on the Lizard Racing Kramer 690cc, the uh, Eurobike supplied machine. Choosy sponsored as well, the Lizard Racing crew right behind this. Uh, we're joined by Emma, uh, Emma Charlotte here. Unfortunately, Dad's out of the race, uh, but uh, he is down. He's up and okay. He didn't come in. In fact, there he looks like he's going out again. So uh, back in the pits, uh, the only thing this guy can hope for possibly is a good ride. And also if the race is red flagged, he might get back to, up into the front. But uh, whatever the problem is, they've sorted it out. Uh, I would suggest maybe a gear change lever or something might have come loose just the way he was slowing up. And it was a quick, easy fix. So it's nothing terminal on the two-stroke, nothing like ignition or things like that. So something going on. But it'll be good to see Dennis piling it through the field. Uh, he's on the right uh, orange and black bike, the number 15 machine. So looking over to Higgins there, Jacob Straub with 10 laps to go on the number 70 Kramer machine. This is Dad's uh, original race number. Dad, Andrew Stroud, started off life racing over 30 years ago under the number 70. Who's that just pulled out at the hairpin? Is that uh, a 125? They've gone out into the grass, but they're back onto the track at the moment. So something going on there. The yellow flag, I don't even know whether it came out, but certainly that's not a hazard anymore. So uh, just another bit of drama there, Spider Jason Hearn, the Biggles Racing, he has not uh, started this race, so a, D a DNS a did not start for uh, Jason Hearn, so that means uh, all Yanni Shaw really has to do now is finish this race, and he'll, uh, all he needs is a 76 point advantage at the end of this one, and he is uh, going to be crowned the uh, 125 GP champion, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that one there. But uh, yeah, drama for Biggles Racing, they only got one bike out there, and Jason Hearn, a non-starter, so... Uh, Big uh, bit of drama there for the 125 class at Yanni Shaw. He's uh, not uh, leading this one at the moment, but oh, yes, he is. Yes, he's leading this one ahead of Campbell Browning and uh, Chris Malcolm there. So, uh, brilliant stuff. 125 GP action. And uh, look at this performance from Jacob Stroud on the Kramer. He's flying down the centre straight at Manfield and uh, doing the business. Chris Huddleston there in uh, second place. Scotty Finlay is now up into third with uh, Kieran O'Neill there in fourth. And uh, go back to uh, Johnny Lewis and... Uh, Neil Chapel in there as well. So some great uh, super light action out there and then incorporated with our uh, 
125 GP250 mono class as well. And that uh, so far is Yanni Shaw ahead of uh, Campbell Grayling and uh, Chris Malcolm in there. So brilliant stuff all around. And uh, can't take anything away from Jacob Stroud flying at the moment around uh, the turn seven and out on the front straight. So he uh, crosses the line. Eight laps to go for Jacob Stroud and the team uh, Lizard Racing. Dennis Charlotte retired again. It looked like he actually come right back in after going out. He come back in earlier on, went back out, did another lap, but he come back right in, and it looks like he's ridden straight into the pit. So whatever the problem is, it's not solvable by the end of the race. So that's disappointing for Dennis Charlotte. Something to work on during the week. Look at that uh, beautiful ride of uh, Jacob Stroud, one of the three Stroud brothers here under the Shoesy Racing banner there, the Lizard Racing team. Uh, Shoesy helped jewellery, Speedy Leathers, uh, life... Uh, Sorry, Stole Martin uh, Boots, Bridgestone Tyres, Brembo Bakes, GV Luggage on the Kramer NZ bike uh, from the New Plymouth area, uh, the Eurobike entry. And uh, he's got a commanding lead there in there. Oh, two thirds of that centre straight, and it's Chris Huddled in there in second place. He's been uh, he's been very, very uh, hounded by uh, Scott Finlay, Kyron O'Neill, Yanni Shaw. Well, Yanni Shaw, I think, is up in the fifth place on the first of the uh, 125 GP mono machines. 250cc four stroke. Uh, competitive against the 125 Grand Prix bike. We saw one four-stroke come out a few years ago and eventually they're, they're starting to uh, fill up the grids, uh, probably 50-50, 125 GP bike. Great to see these Aussies coming over and finding some 125 Grand Prix bikes in New Zealand. They bring their bodywork over. Uh, after the South Island, they said in the hallway and they weren't too sure whether they were coming back to the North Island. They found the funds, they found the enthusiasm, they found the... Uh, annual leave and bring their own gear over and fit it to the Kiwi bikes and it's really good to see the camaraderie of the Kiwis offering out these 125 Grand Prix bikes for the 125 GP mono class. How are we going in points for the uh, 33 points ahead is Jacob Stroud ahead of Dennis Charlotte so uh, Dennis Charlotte is 8 points ahead of Chris Huddlestone so if it finishes like it is Jacob's going to increase his lead uh, but uh, Chris Huddlestone's going to slip up there into second place in the championship because D uh, Dennis's uh, a DNF, uh, DN, yeah, DNF did not finish uh, in this race at the moment. So look at that bike coming onto the front straight. That is one of the Australian boys uh, flying along. That's the one that run wide at the hairpin. Who is that? That is uh, the letter D. That is Dad. Uh, Mark, Mark Dion there. Mark, Mark Dion, Dion. Sorry, yeah. Mark Dion. So Jacob Stroud, a one twelve four six eight. Uh, he's slipped down into the 13 and a half mark. He's got this race under control, 6.4 seconds. But both Chris Huddlestone, Scott Finlay and Kyron O'Neill have put in their fastest lap in the 13s in the last uh, lap there. So uh, those guys are all on fire and battling it out while Jacob Stroud's a uh, country mile ahead of everybody. Yeah, so brilliant stuff from Jacob Stroud. Can't speak uh, uh, highly enough. He had a perfect weekend uh, in this uh, super light class. He's won two from two so far, and he got the pole position bonus point, and he's well and truly on his way. Over seven seconds advantage uh, back to Chris Huddleston, so uh, well and truly in command of this one. But there is still uh, six laps to go in this race, so uh, still not done and dusted, but uh, definitely a commanding performance and a great mature weekend ride from Jacob Stroud. And full credit to the Team Wizard Racing for all the... Uh, all the Strouds this weekend have done that. a number of classes and a number of different uh, performances. So brilliant stuff all around for uh, Team Lizard Racing. And uh, well, this is uh, just coming to fruition with uh, Jacob Stroud and this Kramer at the moment. So uh, brilliant stuff into uh, the Go Media right-hander. He flies and uh, out to uh, round off another lap. So he'll have five laps to go as he crosses the line. And uh, brilliant stuff from uh, Jacob on the Kramer. Great to see a uh, new sponsor on board, DR Chelsea Express, uh, the uh, freight logistics company, and uh, we've also got some of the old timers back. Suzuki New Zealand, Yamaha New Zealand, ICG Print is a new name there doing the programs. Carl Cox Motorsport, Motorcycle New Zealand. We've also had support from Pirelli, Honda Cars, Rosine Automotive and Light Industrial, Bike Rider Magazine, MX and Track Timing, and CTAS Live. So thank you for all those people and uh, their businesses for supporting the New Zealand Superbike Championship. Uh, this will all be, all this footage will be uh, available in about a day uh, on uh, the uh, YouTube. Just go to CTAS Live. Uh, there will be Facebook updates on when it's coming up there. And of course, looking forward to a great weekend's racing uh, next weekend for the final round of the New Zealand Superbike Championships at the Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park at Taupo. Always an awesome day up at Taupo. We've had an absolute magic weekend with watching some serious, serious, down to the thousands of a second racing, particularly that Jackson Cut Pass. Ten bikes there in one big group, although Jesse Stroud got a little bit of a break 
uh, in the uh, last race today. And of course, the racing's been good all the way through. Great to see a good field of sidecars, superbikes, and electric. Uh, nice to see David Hall get a win. He's had a couple of wins before in the 600, but in the dry here at Manfield, uh, he was a very, very strong. And Avalon Biddle, two wins and a second place this weekend. Unfortunate for Toby Summers going down twice in the Toyota corner. He's lost uh, a possible 50 points he could have got, or at least uh, for 40 points for two second placing. But uh, hopefully he's OK, and we'll be back in action at Taupo on the Car Fox Motorsport uh, Mad Love Media sponsored machine. So uh, four laps to go here at the uh, New Zealand Superbike Championships round four. Manfield there, Brad, uh, Richie. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we see Jacob just heading into the left-hander, and uh, Chris Huddleston just uh, manages to pull a little bit of advantage so uh, he's in the super light class. Super light B is uh, the first up. Scotty Finlay, third on track, but uh, different class. And then Kieran O'Neill, another super bike, uh, super light B uh, rider out there as well. So uh, it is uh, Johnny Lewis, uh, the number 54. He's actually in uh, third place in the super light class at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that one. But uh, so super light and super light B out there as well. But uh, the 125 GP podium so far, Yanni Shaw ahead of Campbell Grayling and uh, Chris Malcolm there, so a couple of the D6 Motorsport team and uh, on track to be uh, the New Zealand 125 GP champion uh, in just a three laps time as we see Jacob Stroud crossing the line. He's got this sorted, he's getting a pit board out there to tell him the information, but certainly Jacob Stroud has got this race bastard to be waiting for the timing screen to refresh. I've got 25 seconds between the two timing screens. That's what we requested today after it was a bit tough to watch yesterday. 5.1 second lead. A 1.13.3, a 1.13.2 for second place. So Chris Huddlestone's only making up 0.1. He'll have to settle for second place, but uh, not for the one of trying. Scott Finlay there, two seconds behind him across the start finish line. You can see Chris Huddleston in the orange and black leathers going into the hairpin now and Scotty Finlay with the bright fluorescent stripe down the side of his bike and the bright fluorescent uh, coloured leathers uh, part black part uh, fluorescent so uh, he's uh, down that centre straight now so where is Jacob Stroud Jacob Stroud's got to be coming round that big sweeper onto the front straight three I know he's down the back straight there on the number 70 machine the Shoesy sponsored uh, Kramer a German motorcycle with a uh, KTM's Austrian isn't it? KTM's Austrian engine I don't even know where Austria is. <laughs> yeah, it's just next door to Germany, actually. Right oh, yeah. So coming down the front straight, Jacob Stroud in charge of this one well and truly. And what a weekend he's had so far. We don't want to uh, put the mockers on him, but uh, he's got two laps to go. And uh, Chris Huddleston giving chase in there in second place. Scotty Finlay, a great ride on a uh, pre-89 ZX400 Kawasaki there in uh, third place on track here in O'Neill. Crosses the line. He is in fourth as well. And then we look uh, to hear that uh, beautiful... Kalex, that uh, KTM Engine Moto 3 style bike, that's the 250cc four stroke, and that is the uh, first of our 125 GP250 mono class and uh, if he finishes like that he will well and truly have enough points to take uh, a New Zealand title, so uh, brilliant stuff from him, there's the uh, only running Biggles race team bike in this one, that's uh, Campbell Grayling What's the, the corner IMG speed 50. of this bike particularly going through turn 3, we see that bike there going up through Toyota corner will come out of uh, the Toyota corner into turn two, but the corner speed turn three, I think he's the fastest corner speed of any bike on the track. He flips it over to the right and into the left. Look at that thing just fly through there. It's uh, absolutely spectacular, Brad Ritchie. Yeah, absolutely, and a lot of work goes into those big racing IMD 250s. So uh, absolutely brilliant to see uh, some uh, podium action coming through. As we see uh, Jacob Stroud, white flag, get ready and waiting for him. So he'll take the white flag. One lap to go in the final race here at uh, round four. Sir Chris Amon man for field. And we've had a great weekend. It's been absolutely brilliant. The racing's been top notch. And uh, not many uh, crashes, not many injuries. So uh, we're very, very happy so far to... Uh, have this one here at Manfield. So the first time at Manfield since 2014, a five-year break and uh, come back, and uh, this has just been electric spider. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's good. It's uh, it's just been so exciting watching the racing. It's a different sort of thing for me now. Uh, I haven't commentated for the other three rounds, so it's been more of a social, and I get a chance to watch an individual machine. But it's certainly great to be back in the commentary box. And Brad Ritchie, mate, I must say. Uh, the way you've just uh, stepped up to this game and just, just slotted in there like you've been doing it for 20 years, I'm so impressed and it's good to see you enjoying yourself and uh, we are on the final lap, Jacob Stroud is, where is he now? Down that back straight there on the number 70 machine, as I said it's the number his stay had started racing with many many years ago, he will take the win once he gets through the Go Media corner and across the start finish line in that class and increase his lead. 
uh, it will be Chris Huddleston coming through there. I think in second place will get uh, a jump from third to second in the points. There it is, Jacob Stroud. Thumbs up as he goes across the start finish line in second place. Is that Chris Huddleston coming through there? There he goes. Now we're going to look out for the first of the 125 GMP bikes. Should be coming through in a couple there. Yanni Shaw. Here comes Yanni Shaw. He's coming around the sweeper there on the uh, letter S machine, dicing with someone else. Is that Neil Chappell on the 43 bike? Yanni Shaw will provisionally take the first of the New Zealand Superbike Championship titles there. Look at that. Incredible. Yanni Shaw takes uh, number one. Again, it is provisional, but an outstanding ride. Jacob Stroud, what did you get in the... Uh, in terms of uh, lap records here, 11826 is Dennis Charlotte in the Super Lights, uh, a 12, 4, or 6, 8, so no lap record for Jacob Stroud there. The 125 GPs in the 13s were up in the 14s there. Don't even know who said that, so uh, that is done and dusted. So absolutely outstanding racing. Thank you, Neil Ritchie, for your part in the commentary. Uh, running around up and down those stairs, writing down all the results and uh, doing your profession, very professional interviewing. And, yeah, as I say, Brad, thank you. No, absolutely brilliant. I've had a great weekend. Got Some prize giving coming up shortly as well yeah, here at the track. Prize giving is in the Toyota Lounge down the end of the uh, end of the front straight, the, the last box on the front straight. So uh, you're more than welcome to join us. Everyone's welcome down at prize giving. So uh, it'll be great to see us there. And a few of these results will be provisional, but uh, still a great uh, chance to honour our winners and uh, perhaps acknowledge a. Uh, a a first uh, national champion of the season. So uh, well done to Yanni Shaw and the D6 Motorsport team. Well done to them. That's a, uh, of course, a provisional national championship so far. So uh, there we go with the update and uh, brilliant stuff. Jacob Stroud ahead of uh, Chris Huddleston. And then uh, actually Johnny Lewis was the uh, third place to super light bike to come through. So uh, well done to Johnny Lewis on the podium. And uh, non-finishes for Richard Mark and Barrett and uh, Dennis Charlotte. So uh, unlucky for them. Uh, as we uh, have a look at the uh, 125 250 mono class and Yanni Shaw uh, wins ahead of uh, Campbell Grayling. Then go back to Chris Malcolm, the second of the D6 Motorsport team. Jeremy Huddleston up in fourth. Haven't spoken much about Jeremy, so a uh, great result for him. Daniel Jenkins in fifth. Logan Rowell there in sixth. Aaron Lamborn, a good seventh place. Him, Carl Hooper there in uh, eighth with Taryn Ocean. Brody Jones, Richard Ford, Mark De Jong, and uh, Marek Von Berto there in uh, 13th place so uh, unfortunately a non-starter for uh, Jason Hearn so he was unable to do anything about the charge from uh, Yanni and uh, did my mass and my provisional uh, call uh, that is the first New Zealand champion crowned at uh, round four so with an entire whole round to go so uh, there we go Jacob Stroud Chris Huddleston and Johnny Lewis at your podium for your F3 and uh, Yanni Shaw with uh, Campbell Grayling and Chris Malcolm at your podium for your uh, 125 GP 250 mono so an absolutely uh, massive thank you to all the sponsors on board and uh, a naming right sponsor this weekend, DHL. Uh, what a great uh, it is to have them on board. So see how uh, DHL can take your small business into the world and uh, call them now and get up to 30% off. So they've got uh, customised business solutions for you. So call 0800 345 725 and uh, have a look at that. And also thanks to Pirelli Tyres. Power is nothing without control and uh, their awesome range. Thanks to Level and the team for all their help. So uh, brilliant stuff. Carl Cox Motorsport, a big thanks to them with uh, other great sponsors like CTAS Live. Thanks to Grant, does a fantastic job. Uh, Honda Cars supplying the medical car. That's a brilliant uh, brilliant thing to have along with NZSBK and uh, a Resine uh, Automotive and Light Industrial. Great to have them on board NZSBK as well with Yamaha revs your heart and the zero down on the R family at the moment. So check out your local Yamaha dealer for more information. Suzuki, a way of life. They're uh, brilliant as well. So uh, we'll cross down now to Neil and uh, he'll wrap up uh, with our uh, Superlight podium and our 125 GP250 money podium. Well, here we go, our uh, super light uh, podium today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and uh, great to see another two mainlanders have come up to join us. Uh, uh, Johnny, I don't know how you made that podium, but, mate, that was a coffin and a splutter from hell, wasn't it? Uh, that was just pure luck, mate. <laughs> and, uh, hey, I'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Why not? Right, you had a good time at Manfield other yeah. than that? Yeah, first time here, and I love it. What a track. Yeah. 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 Really? That, oh, really? Of all the racing you've done, you've never been here? No, n never been here or Taupo, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, stoked. So sorry for Dennis, you know, it looks like he had a bit of a mechanical, so yeah. 
But oh yeah, it's all good. Yeah, all good. You'll take it. Exactly. Well done, John. First time here. I've commentated you a thousand times and hadn't realised that. Good. Christopher Huddlestone, mate. This is so good. You've had a feast here, haven't you, at Manfield? Uh, not too bad. I've had my ups and downs. I've had a mechanical to start the weekend okay. and yeah. an expensive one at that. Um, but yeah, we consolidated. We made lots of changes. We never give up. So we just keep going, keep going, keep going. And and uh, and yeah, another second. So stoked. I think that puts me second in the championship oh, again. Right. So. Okay. Yeah, roll so bring, bring, yeah, exactly. Bring it on. Well done. They have a great result. And here you are, uh, Jacob. Congratulations, mate. You're just, uh, I think, a race away now from that uh, championship. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Eh? We, we came here to Manfield at a track we didn't think we'd do too well at. Uh, we thought we may lose a few points and we'll, we'll come down to the last round. But no, we rode really well and the bike was just set up amazing. Uh, we uh, got great starts in all our races and got out front and just rode our own race, uh, which is what we uh, our plan was to do. And a uh, real shame about Dennis. Um, it does leave the championship pretty open and pretty uh, looking pretty secure, but you know, always, always, they always say it never over till it's over. Yeah, it does indeed. There you folks, so it's uh, super lights. Let's hear it. Well done, a great podium. Uh, we've got uh, Johnny here, along with uh, Chris and of course uh, Jacob. So uh, great to see. All right, one, two, fives. Thank you. Here we go now with our 125 GP uh, 250 mono. And, of course, it has been those uh, new mono bikes that have made a real wave with us here at the moment. And uh, well done, uh, Chris. You made it again. No fluke, was it? No, no fluke at all. But i got to tell you, Jesus Huddleston pushed me really hard right to the end. He, he had a great, great race, and he's been improving all weekend. Yeah, great to see. What do you think about riding these small bikes? What's it like? Uh, it's awesome. Really good handling, great power, teaches you how to ride a bike properly. Yeah, yeah they're really awesome. And I'm, you know, I'm really pleased as a team owner that I'm able to give people like Yanni here, the opportunity to ride the bike yeah, and yeah. also to uh, have a wildcard opportunity at the um, Australian MotoGP race later in the year. Oh, nice news, nice news. You'll invite us all over for that, will absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All welcome. All welcome. <laughs> hey, do you hear that, folks? That'll be great. Well done. Let's have him. What a nice guy. Well done. So thank you, uh, Chris. Fantastic. Campbell, welcome back. It's been a little while between races, mate, but you made it. Good to see. Oh, I'm pretty bloody happy with this. <laughs> I got one at Hamden Downs, but it's the uh, first time I've been in second in a while. Yeah, but really, really happy with the result, and oh, the whole team's been pretty awesome this week, working really, really hard to get the bikes going. Biggles Racing, BS Expansion Joints, have been awesome. Joel, Steve, and Marcus, everyone that's been helping out, it's just been awesome, eh? All right, indeed. Uh, Taupo, you like that one, don't you? I do like Taupo. I like the flowing, technical sort of track, so hopefully I can go a bit better there. Well done. Well done. Great to see Campbell. So... Uh, what, a, what about it, folks? Here you have our first New Zealand champion. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the greatest uh, points advantage, and well done. Here you go. We'll, we'll present this one right here and now. So there it is, a New Zealand championship here at uh, Manfield today. So uh, well done, uh, Yanni. We'll get that back from you, and we'll uh, do it again. Hold on to it now. We'll get, get it back from you, and we'll uh, present that later for prize giving. But hey, con congratulations. Hey, we, we don't mind. Honestly, you're a good Aussie. You're most welcome to come over here and claim our glory. You thoroughly deserved it. You've come to all different tracks you've never ridden before. What an adventure, and you've still got Taupo to go. Uh, do you re are you going to stay just because you've won the title already? Yeah, I'm going to stay and do Taupo. Um, you know, we've got a lot dialed in and thanks to MNZ for having the Moto 3s. It gives me the opportunity, like Chris said, to, to push and ride it hard and, and go for future wildcard opportunities in the GP. So, you know, we hope to make the Oz GP. You know, all things go well. So, yep. We need Taupo to dial the bike in and, and get it going really fast. Now the championship is out of the way, we can afford a few oh, okay. mistakes yeah, and, and start to push. So, um, yeah, well, I'm really happy, really happy with the result. So well done. We don't mind, do we, Kiwis? What about it? Let's hear it for Yanni. Sure. Great result. So uh, loving every bit of that. Fantastic, folks. Don't we save the best to last? We used to just call it 125 GP. Now it's our 250 mono or uh, Moto3 class. So uh, great to see 125s mixing it up with the 250s. Singles roll. Let's hear it. Well done. Thank you, mate. Well done. Hey, to everybody, uh, God bless. What a fantastic day. Thank you all very, very much. Another quality MNZ uh, championship. And our massive thanks to our sponsors. Couldn't do it without them, including, of course, uh, DHL, DHL uh, Express, DHL Logistics. Uh, what a, 
a combination they've got to offer you, the services of the world. Of course, they are business from home, home from business, take a small business owners to all corners of the world. Uh, shipping today with DHL Express and giving you 30% off. Uh, please take the time to call one of our certified international specialists about creating a customised solution for your business. Excellent, simple and it delivered. That is DHL, proud to be our sponsors of this round today. In conjunction with all of our other supporters, we've had just another amazing event and uh, couldn't have done it without the uh, great team from the Victoria Club. So remembering each of the events has been run by a club and Victoria have laid on an absolute cracker here today to Russell, to the team out there, just uh, simply brilliant. So uh, well done to everybody. Love your uh, commitment to our sport. Thank you to uh, Manfield. Great to be back here at this special place in New Zealand motorcycle history. We held uh, three World Superbikes at this uh, venue back in the 80s, early 90s. So it has got a special place in the heart of motorcycling for our great country. So nice to be back here. And look forward to everybody having a very safe week. A reminder, of course, we've got our, our prize giving indeed uh, up in the uh, lounge afterwards. So you're most welcome to join us for that. And it will uh, wrap the day by wrapping our sponsors, including DHL, Pirelli, Honda, Suzuki, Brazine Automotive Industrial, along with uh, Yamaha, Rev Jahat, CTAS Live, ICG, Creative Content and Print, with Carl Cox Motorsport, MXT, Motocross and Track Timing Solutions. Special thanks to uh, Nicole and Dyer. Lovely job, ladies. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you. And uh, Bike Rider Magazine, still New Zealand's number one for uh, road riding and road racing. Bring it on with all those great uh, motor uh, motorcycle sponsors. Yes, indeed, nzsbk.co.nz. Or remembering CTAS Live within a couple of days, we'll have our uh, uh, racing from CTAS. It'll be live on YouTube, so you can click it up on the World Wide Web. So uh, tell all your friends about it. What a magnificent two days here at uh, Manfield Circuit. At Chris Amon, and we look forward to all seeing you at Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park Talpo next Saturday and Sunday for the